Hi there, this is Gaurav from Aviatrix and in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how can you take advantage of edit source feature that is available in release 4.0. This feature comes as a part of our egress security feature and gives you more granular control on how do you apply your eager security policy. As you already might know that Aviatrix egress security feature is a service that filters internet bound egress traffic initiated from workflows in your VPCs based on fully qualified domain names. Prior to 4.0, you could create a tag with the specific domain names based on your egress policy and attach those tags to the gateways to filter traffic. Edit source allows you to control which source IP in the VPC is qualified for a specific tag. The source IP can be a subnet seeder or a host IP address. Now one use case for this, for example, could be say you have two private subnets in a VPC. One deploys dev instances and another one for prod instances. With edit source feature, the dev instances can have a different tag than the prod instances and thus it gives you a more granular control. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm assuming that you already have the Aviatrix egress gateway deployed, you already have a tag created, and you have attached that gateway to the tag. So let's go to our controller and see how we can use the edit source feature. On the controller, in the left-hand panel, you go to security section and under security, go to egress control section. Once you scroll down, you will see egress FQD and filter section. And you can see that I already have a DevOps stack created. Now you go to edit source feature and here from the gateway dropdown menu, you can choose which gateway uh, you want to work on. I only have one gateway. So in the source IP filter section, you can see my VPC seeder block and the two subnets that I have in that VPC. Now I can apply the DevOps tag either on my VPC seeder block, on my public subnet, on my private subnet or all of them. Once you have added those subnets and cedar blocks, you can click OK and the tag will be applied to all the chosen cedars. There could also be a scenario where you want tag to be applied on a specific instance. So let me show you how to do that. Let me remove all of these cedar blocks from this window. You come here and you specify the IP address of that instance. Say the IP address is 10.0.16.1 and you add that IP address, click OK and you can see that now the tag is applied on that specific IP address that we mentioned in this block. And this is it. This is how you can use edit source feature to have more granular control on your eager security policy. For more information on this feature or other features, feel free to visit our website aviatrix.com. Thank you so much.